testing, testing. All right, so I'm back for another Stone Mounts the Imagining. Uh, we're still on this idea of the Drukhari Drone Overlords, just still going through, picking apart the different models um, and, and seeing if this army could work. Um, and I've gotten some feedback since the first video, uh, and, and I'll talk a little bit about that. Um, but uh, whereas the previous episode, I kind of found out that there are uh, comparable models that are easy to pull from uh, the Drukhari range to fit into the Karadrian Overlord range to kind of match one for one. Um, now I want to kind of go um, unit by unit and see if there's uh, enough there uh, and what might need to get modeled or what might need to get uh, fabricated uh, to fit them and tie them together. So looking at these two models, um, there's a couple of things. So just let's start visual and then we'll go to rules. And I'm just going to focus on the frigate. It's kind of the, the flagship uh, of this uh, Karadin Overlord. It's also the flagship of the, um, the Bukhari. So again, some really nice balance there. Um, so looking at these two models, uh, the, the frigate on the right-hand side obviously is kind of a, is a medium-sized vessel. Uh, there's a large gun on the front. Um, let's see here. We'll do some comparisons. Um, so first things first, obviously. Okay. Um, so let's see. So first of all, well, there's obviously a gun at the, at the front of both of them. Um, this gun is is much smaller than this one. Um, and so uh, I've done, I've looked at this a little bit on, this would definitely have to be kind of turned into more of a hook type system or a grappling type system. There's nothing in this kit that uh, is, you know, really comparable in that exact way. Um, but there are some cool things here. Um, I love this face. Um, this equally kind of has a battering ram. This has a battering ram, just like this here. Um, I do think, though, that if we're, you know, if, uh, modeling for this would need some sort of, you know, face thing going on here to, to mimic uh, what's going on. I think it's a very iconic of, of the Overlord, and so I think it could be really cool to, to pull into this. Um, there's a lot of similarities. I mean, obviously these are flying ships, and so there's a lot of similarities to these things going on. Um, the there's a, I think three crew members here. Uh, there's three crew members here. Um, four actually with me on the side. Uh, what I like about uh, the Ravager, as far as a kit, is that um, similarly for these uh, Aethershot carbines. Do fit really nicely with uh, with these side cannons. Um, so there's some parity there. Um, the the biggest thing, the very biggest thing visually that stands out is obviously. Well, there's I guess there's two. The biggest one is obviously these giant balloons. So I do think that for this to kind of feel like it fits in, you know. Uh, if they're competing against each other, that or if they're fighting on the field, that, that they're of equal kind of importance. Um, I would say uh, that at the very least, the sail needs to get bigger, um, or even have you know multiple again to mimic that the balloon has, that the frigate has multiple balloons and kind of these things. Um, so I think that's, that's at a minimum and I, I've got some really cool ideas. So then as far too, as far as the lore and like the, the science magic, um, you know, the, uh, the cool thing about the, the engines is that they're working off of, you know, uh, ether gold coming in and, and they're storing it up inside and there's somehow some, some sort of reaction that's going on. 
and it's pumping it down into these valves. And then, uh, you know, that in turn uh, goes through the engine, it turns these wheels, uh, or the, the propellers, um, probably has some sort of exhaust thing, uh, and then you know, powers, powers these weapons to shoot them off. So there's a lot going on here with the magics of the, of the ether gold. Now, where I think sails are a little bit different, I'm, it makes me think a little bit like um, solar sails, um, that... And, and I don't know the science behind solar sails, you know, like crazy. On one hand, you've got this idea that, again, that uh, either the ether gold um, uh, is coming in and reacting with this in such a way that it powers the engines, um, or you could treat it like more like solar winds or ether winds. Uh, and the sails are reacting to it. So when it comes in contact with the gold, it bounces off. So I think that there's some good lore here. I think there's some good explanation. Again, it's just made up magic science. Uh, and so, but I think it fits that they're both in the same currents. They're both working in the same environment. Um, and uh, so, but the, the kind of the big checklist would be that uh, the, the gun slash hook on the front and uh, the face lamb and the kind of the, well, obviously it's the sails, it's the presence. Yep. Um, so both of the, I think all those things need to kind of like increase in order for this to be viable. Um, so, now let's uh, let's take a look at, and, and I think all of those things are doable. So on this ship, I'm really confident that these two can, uh, I can make the the Ravenger uh, look more like uh, the frigate or like embody the frigate. So now let's look a little bit at the rules. Um, so the the biggest thing about the rules, uh, so let's start with the description. Yeah. And let's, Let's put in the, the Jukari drone. The Jukari drone frigate is a single model. It's armed with an ether shot, ether shot carbines, uh, racks of grudge settler bombs, sky mines, and detonation drill. All right, so those bombs, that bomb rack, that was another one that I, I forgot to mention. Um, and so would be, yeah, so we've got this whole slew of things that it drops down. Uh, and right now, there's nothing of that sort here, um, but I think again that could be uh, modeled so the bomb rack. So there's a number of things, but uh, it's not far fetched. It's something that, but these are the things that I think would need to be included in order to feel like it was uh, taking place, like it was functionally in a way acting like uh, the figure. All right, so let's look at some of the rules. So like I said, the the, the racks, the bomb racks, etc. Its main gun mounted above its forecastle is either a skitty, heavy sky cannon or a heavy sky hook. The crew of the Arknot Frigate operate these deadly armaments, but can also uh, use belaying valves to defend their vessel. Now, little I could find, belay valves are like uh, um, the reduction, pushing of air out or something uh, that stops the vessel, so maybe it uses uh, jets of air to, put, to stop the enemy. So all of these things functionally Lizzie would need some work. So we can do that. Arcanaut frigates can fly. Got that. The, the Ravenger is definitely flying. We can make it look even more like it's flying. Um, so some rules. Uh, if there's a friendly ether navigator visible to it, an Arcanaut frigate can move an extra D3. Um, I know so that there's a navigator on modeled on the frigate. I don't, so I don't know if that guy counts as a navigator. Um, but, you know, so I need to look at whether I need to be modeled. Uh, all hands on the guns, uh, that's fine. Bomb racks, you said that's something that needs to get uh, put together. Um, sky mines, uh, sky hook, uh, Tyros engine digger. Um, yeah, all those things uh, feel like they can fit. Um, sky far, I mean, this uh, Ravenger model has kind of like stuff hanging off the side of it. Um, so I would definitely be able to see you know, kind of being able to model 
units like uh, uh, Arcanaut type units hanging off the side, but the, the Dark Elf version of those, or the Gukari version of those. Um, the embarking and disembarking all look good. Um, yeah, so I mean, I think the, the biggest thing is uh, the modeling the bomb racks and Oh, the sky hooks. Um, so, you know, some of these, this weapon profile here. Does it look like it has a 5 up save? Yeah, it doesn't. It actually looks more like it had, should have just a 5 up save. Uh, 14 wounds. Uh, so it probably doesn't look like it has as many wounds or bulking it up, etc. Um, and uh, the movement is uh, 10. Um, I would say the Bukhari uh, Ravager actually looks like it's a little bit faster. Um, but I think. Uh, I think we're all right. I think we're within the, the plus or minus uh, so many inches. If this was like an eight inch move, um, one of the things I've got to look into here is, is do they feel like, um, do, they, do they both feel like uh, Kareg and Overlords? And this is the biggest uh, kind of feedback I got from people uh, looking at you know this idea is do they both feel like Kareg and Overlords and feel like elves should feel <coughs> and i don't again i don't totally know i haven't played any games with them and so it may be worth getting some games in as i've looked through other rules it does seem like um some of the more fast moving things would help this army feel like elves um and uh you know just that's a characteristic we know about elves and maybe instead of like survivability type buffs uh, like you know it, Pluses to saves or rerolls, that sort of stuff, uh, aiming more towards uh, you know, rerolls to hits and, and deadly strikes and that sort of stuff. Um, shock and awe. Um, I really like, yeah. So there's, there's a number of, of things. So as we get to each unit, um, so in this regard, the thing I like most about it is uh, I mean, you saw the two are, are the flagships of each of their, their um, army lines. And I think I, I just think that there's a, there's a lot of good things here. So, uh, on the frigate, I think the Ravenger is a good uh, proxy with some add-ons. So again, uh, if we go back to if we go back to the picture, we need bomb racks underneath here. We need this the gun hooks to to feel like they fit. That doesn't mean they have to be the same size because Elven stuff is usually a little bit smaller. Um, uh, and then uh, this face ram, some decorative fit. So I've, I've been thinking a little bit about like, what would the you know sky elves be after? Would it be you know the these are essentially corsairs. Uh, another is a corsair army um, or a uh, scourge privateer army. Um, so these would essentially be in that theme, but using Caribbean rules. So maybe it's a uh, an air squid you know, or the, the cloud. Um, tentacle monster or whatever. So maybe that's the kind of thing. And so there's a way to, to create something to that effect on the front. It would take some model, etc. Um, I need bigger wings, and there are some bigger wings available from some of the other kits. Um, the Ravenger wings are actually sails are actually bigger than the, the uh, well, actually what you see there. So we we need to embellish them. So maybe that's something I have to build them from scratch. I don't know. Um, and then uh, the yeah, I mean, I think that's that's all the things. Um, I don't know if there's any more bulking out, but uh, so I'm fairly satisfied with how these fit. You can see what I would need to do to be able to to do that. Now, I'm a big fan of modeling and doing some different changes, so those things don't uh, aren't any sweat for me. I don't think I've not done some of these things, but I'm confident that I can ask for help and figure it out. So, all right. Well, thanks for joining me for another video for uh, coming along with me on these uh, uh, imaginations. Um, the Bukhari Grunt uh, Overlords are, are, are still, I mean, they're in my head a lot. I'm thinking about a lot. The other thing uh, that I think would need to be different is that uh, I think that we need more metallic on, on these, um, paint-wise. Uh, I've, <laughs> I've been thinking a little bit about a non-metallic metal chrome uh, look on the, on the bodies. So, you know, I'm playing with it. I'm putting it out there. Maybe, maybe I've seen some really cool chrome paint 
uh, schemes out there, so uh, it's an option. Um, but tell me what you think. Tell me what you think down below. Is it a? Is it still feel like are these two feel like they're a good comparison? Is that too much? Um, and then, uh, um, you know, tell me what you think about the Chrome, uh, etc. So uh, we'll talk to you soon. Uh, hopefully, I'll see you soon. Uh, have some more to talk about on this. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and share, all that kind of good stuff. Uh, thanks again.